every time I look up, Tiffany Haddish is Sambo. Tiffany Haddish is Samuel L. Jackson in the Django Unchained. Welcome to another episode of the That's Scary with Melanie P podcast. I'm your girl, Melanie P, and we are here to have a conversation. Y'all, I have literally been out of pocket because life as always, has been lifing. I really should have named this podcast Life Be Life and Podcast Child because it be life in. But I'm not gonna hold you long, y'all. I did an episode about Tiffany Haddish and her coon behavior several months ago. And I was hoping that maybe, just maybe, she would see this episode and, you know, go to the Black History Museum in D.C., They just built one in Charleston, South Carolina. I was hoping that maybe she would, you know, spend some of her coins to go and research her history to understand the outrage of the coonery of it all. Now, let me say this. I'm always rooting for anybody black. I'm always rooting for the black woman. But Tiffany Haddish, she keeps... She keeps striking. She keeps striking. Um, So recently there was a New York fashion show um, that all the celebrities were at. All the micro influencers, the big influencers were in New York with their fashions at all the fashion shows. And here comes Tiffany Haddish. And I'm just read this to you guys from people. Okay. Tiffany Haddish made waves when she hit the catwalk at the Mont's show on September 7th during New York Fashion Week. But her runway walk wasn't planned. It was a dare from Cal- Kathy Hilton, who mm, choking, who had been sitting front row with her. In the days following, it bubbled up into one of the most talked about and controversial moments of the week. Haddish was sitting front row at the Mont, and I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, show with Kathy and her two daughters, Nikki Hilton Rothschild and Paris Hilton. During the show, as soon as the models started walking the runway, video that was collaboratively shared on social media by all of them, plus the fashion house, show the front row discussing whether or not slave girl Haddish should get up during a break between models and walk the runway too. Kathy would be seen encouraging her to do so, and she did. In the moment though, only the people seated directly near Haddish and the Hiltons could hear what was happening. No one else could, so no one really knew why the actress was walking the runway. She made a full loop in the middle of the models before returning to her seat. She was cheered on by those in attendance, even if there was some confusion as to what was happening. Mm, 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 mm. (sighs) You know, Tiffany Haddish has to be older than me, right? And I was raised by black parents um, who were born in the 40s, who really instilled in us not you know, pride in who we are, um, our history in being black Americans in the United States and our history that led us up to the current moment. And I feel like every time I look up, Tiffany Haddish is Sambo. Tiffany Haddish is uh, the D- Sam, what's his name? Samuel L. Jackson in the Django Unchained. Um, she is the, what was those? Okay. So back in the day in slavery, you had the selected black slave, right? Who the master would give certain rights to, to like tell on other slaves and to beat them. Um, and if you know, to be kind of a snitch, right? Maybe that's where uncle Tom and all that stuff came from. And she's really given that energy. Now I have a soft spot in my heart for Tiffany Haddish. But when I see stuff like this, it is very, very difficult for me to give her grace. It is very difficult for me to give her grace. K 
Kathy Hilton made a mockery of you. You know, I've seen the video of Kathy Hilton kind of whispering to Tiffany Haddish and daring her to get up there and walk on the runway. Like, it really tells us how Kathy Hilton and her daughters look at you. When you look at the video, you know, you see Tiffany Haddish get up in her green suit, um, walk that runway, and you see the Hiltons and, um, you know, Kathy Hilton and her daughters laugh as she shuck and jive, you know, shock, shuck and jive on that front row. And listen, I get it. I understand that Tiffany Haddish is a comedian. I understand that that's her claim to fame. I get it. But I don't care if it was her, Kevin Hart or whatever. I just didn't like the optics of this. You know, in the video, seeing her get up there and coon on that runway and then seeing these Hiltons laugh at her as she, you know, completed this dare, it was just very cringeworthy. Um, you know, Tiffany Haddish has been in our sights. She's been on our big screen, on our small screens for a while now. And, you know, it's kind of time to level up. It's kind of time to get out of the, you know, coon behavior and elevate into, you know, we get it. You're a comedian, but have a little bit of decorum, have a little bit of class. Like you are at a New York fashion show. Did you see Kathy Hilton daring anybody else? Kathy Hilton wouldn't dare her daughters to do it. She wouldn't dare her daughters to get up there and walk a runway. So the fact that she looked at Tiffany Haddish and she thought enough of her and the word enough is used strategically to dare her to make a fool out of herself at New York Fashion Week is almost like saying you don't belong here. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't belong here, but they let you in. So you better get to work and make us laugh, nigga. That is what it's giving. It's truly giving that. And I'm just disgusted by it. I'm really disgusted by it. You know, it takes me back to, um, I don't know if it was Shakira or someone, but there was an award show recently and I did a video on it. And Tiffany Haddish was chasing this lady around, this white actress. I want to say it was Shakira. I believe she was chasing Shakira around the award show. And it's like, girl, you're not on set. You're at an award show. You're at a fashion show. Like you, you're not on stage. You're not on set. Time and place. You know, I know that some people might think, okay, well, you know, she's just having fun, whatever, whatever. But here's the thing. If Kathy Hilton wouldn't work, want her own daughters to get up there and make that type of mockery of themselves, why would she want Tiffany Haddish to do it? And I get it. Tiffany Haddish is a comedian, comedy, comedy, fun, fun. I'm a low key comedian. I have fun. I like to laugh. I like to joke. But there ain't no white woman who would tell me to make a fool out of myself for their laughter. And I would do it. And I got to be way younger than Tiffany Haddish. So at the end of the day, you know, at the end of the day, salute to you, Tiffany Haddish and all your accomplishments, you know, from rising from the slums to Hollywood, you know, being on the big screen, but you ain't been in the slums in a while. Like, elevate, 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 elevate. So let me pull this down to our level, right? Okay, let's say that you're at a work function, right? Recently, earlier in the year, my employer had a um, conference in another state and everybody flew to this state to meet and have a conference. I could not imagine, because I really am one of the only, if not the only black person <laughs> in my um, department, in my area of work. No, you couldn't pay me for someone to say, hey, Melanie, I dare you to get up there and make a fool out of yourself on stage. You couldn't pay me. You couldn't pay me. You know, because at the end of the day, 
there has to be something in your mind that triggers, okay, girl, um, I'm not your fool. Like I'm not, um, this is not a movie. This is not a comedy set. Like I'm here as a guest of this fashion show, just like you are. I'm here in this work conference, just like you are. I'm not here to be your gesture. I'm not here to be your minstrel. I'm here just like you are. And, you know, I could see how some people might, not understand where I'm coming from. But unfortunately, 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 there are certain double standards in this world, right? A man can do something, a woman can do something, and the woman can be shunned for doing the same thing that a man does. Double standard. Um, A black person can do something, a white person can do something, and there are different repercussions, there are different perceptions of what's going on double standard. So at the end of the day, it's not fair, but you have to read the room. You have to demand respect. You're not here to be these people's jester. You know, I always wonder how her and common even were a thing for so long, but I do understand why they're no longer together. I, to this day, I don't understand that match. Now I will say maybe we are um, maybe Tiffany Haddish is misunderstood. You know, I know that she comes from a very unique background, a very loaded background. Um, like a lot of us, I just don't feel like that's an excuse. I could be wrong. Maybe I need to be more sensitive to it, but you know, I just don't want you to be masses fool masses gesture and again I know that there are going to be those people that be like oh my god you know she's taking it too far master slave whatever whatever but it is like unfortunately again we are not we it's just not it's just not level it's just not level you know um we're still celebrating the first black person to do this, the first black person to do that. Like we're still working our way to be seen as level and we're not there yet. And unfortunately, when I go to work, I can't shuck and jive like Daniel over there because then then they're going to want me to walk a runway and, and be their jester. And unfortunately, that's just the way the world works. I don't know. Listen, y'all, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are back, okay, for with episodes hit the subscribe button, comment below, and I will see you in the next episode.